Welcome to Liquid Lunch. It's me, Hugh, and Hildegard Miner is joining me here today. Hildegard. Hey, Hugh. How are you? Long time no see. Well, you were on the show, when was that? December? I think it was. That was the last Christmas. show. Yes. I think you were on the last show of the, uh, the, the old. Yeah. The pre, before the Mayan calendar ended, and now you're back. Right. And that is one way of looking at it. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me. Well, and we're going to have some really interesting discussions because we have a wonderful natural pass from Montreal with us today. Her name is Lise Emo. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning to you. It's great to uh, have you on the show, Lise. And um, now uh, I'm really excited about the topic that we're going to be talking about because uh, while well you work uh, or have worked with uh, Dr. Uh, Ibrahim Karim, Yes, I am still working with him. Yeah, oui. and, and we've had him on the show here before. I did not know that. You didn't know that? No, he hasn't spoken a word to me about it. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, and um, I, he was just in Toronto last week. Yes. For the Total Health Show. Yes, yeah. I didn't get a chance to see him, but uh, I know he, he's living and working in Montreal now, and uh, we're kind of jealous here in Toronto that you guys have Dr. Kareem over in Montreal. Well, did I get that right that he also did a presentation at the Toronto Dowsers at some point? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. I think we might have a video. Do we have that later on? Yeah, we do. We're going to show a little bit of that okay. a little bit later on. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm lucky for sure because I see him um, very often every week when he is in Montreal. And we share uh, ideas, experiences, and comments and argue and have discussions. Yeah. Now, Lise, would you be so kind and share with us a little bit of your journey? Like we talked on our last show when I was having the privilege being with you, we talked about the age of Aquarius, people coming out of the Piscean age and the low resonating frequencies. The focus there back then was control, follow the leader. And now one school of thought that as the planet resonates at a higher frequency, we are to listen to our inner wisdom and we have to learn more of who we are as a human being, as an energetic construct. And you are yes, um, right into that world, I understand. Yes, but it did not uh, require big effort on my part because I always was at the forefront of information and uh, yeah, of energetic field because that's where I work and that's where uh, information comes in and it's easy for me to see the changes happening in, in uh, people and uh, in the animals as well, in, in everything on, on the nature. It's uh, quite easy. Okay, so you know what I'd like to ask, because uh, you're involved with biogeometry, Yes. Uh, which was pioneered by Dr. Kareem. Yes. But how did you first, what's the story of you uh, encountering biogeometry? Oh, because I was, um, uh, I studied with uh, Dr. Fraser with the human body field and I worked. Um, he has a, work, a book published called uh, Decoding the Human Body Field. And I worked with that, uh, f that apparatus and that those uh, infocytical, and I realized that it permitted me. As soon I took the drops, mm -hmm. I realized that, hey, I can read that person. As soon as she comes in, I know what's wrong with her body. I realized that. Oh, I say okay. So finally, um, after a while, I realized that. Even that, even the energy was going faster than what was with the human body feel. Then I say, okay, we need to look at something that will help people to go into that new energy and to be protected as well because there are many things, many energies around us. So um, that's why I started to work on my product. I said, okay, I will put a line of products out and people will be protected and will receive proper information. At the same time, I had a client here in Toronto who was diagnosed with, um, with a disease, um, a very um, 
aggressive disease, and he heard of me. So he came to Montreal, and I treated him, and he's very well today. He happened to be uh, Ibrahim Karim's best friend. Oh. We. Oui. I cannot say his name was my <laughs> client. So he introduced me to Ibrahim, to Dr. Karim. And since then, we have been very close friends. And uh, I'm the one who did uh, initiate the, um, um, the first meeting of Ibrahim and the uh, Montreal Society. Um, you have people, f higher class people, I mean mm -hmm. artists, not higher class, but artists, comedians, journalists. Mm -hmm. The people that would understand or Different be interested thinkers. in what he's oh, talking about. I wanted right? them to understand that there is something else between the harsh world of, uh, of uh, music, for example, because I have um, clients in the music world. Yeah. So I wanted them to realize that as well. So it was one, me one way for me to uh, help people uh, to understand what was going on. I, I cannot say I was fully successful, but there are many who understood. Well, you, I think you were successful because I understand that Dr. Kareem is looking for, maybe he's already chosen it, I think he chose Montreal, a city in North America to kind of correct using biogeometry. Yes. And, uh, and, and, you know, there were a lot of people in Toronto that wanted him to do it here, but I think mm. he's leaning towards Montreal first. Yes, because because of the um, they have located and studied the uh, I would say the sacred spots mm -hmm. in Montreal and in Toronto, mm -hmm. but Toronto is of course second, <laughs> not of course, <laughs> sorry, but uh, Toronto uh, the sacred spots are not totally identified. There are plenty, but in Montreal there are sacred spots. And um, we can work from those spots to um, reach and um, bring the level of spirituality mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from even from everybody, mm -hmm. from the everybody, and uh, not only spiritually but uh, physically, because it's bring he is bringing the um, energy of the. Um, from Egypt to those sacred spots. And even so, you can tell in, along the history that the sacred spot always existed everywhere. And sacred spots mean uh, that it's a place where uh, the, four, the four currents under the earth meet. Okay, okay. So but now I think if anybody is not familiar with what we're talking about, they mu they, we, I think we should sort of define very quickly what biogeometry is. If you can do that, if you can sort of describe briefly what biogeometry is for people who may never have heard it, of it before. Okay, biogeometry. Uh, Dr. Karim must be uh, speaking about it, and because he knows it in in length. But I myself, what I what I gathered from that is that everything is biogeometry in all of the universe, all, and including us. Even if you look at uh, the golden ratio point, it's biogeometry, it's perfect figure, perfect numbers. So everything is in sound, color, and science, symbolism, right? So what I hear you say then, the human being is not limited to this physical thing that no, I experience no. as my body, no. but there is more to me and I have not necessarily been aware of that. It's all an illusion. You have this uh, skin to be able to move with this, within this oxygen movement. We need the oxygen to breathe and so on and so on. In this mutation, that's what we need. But we are first uh, energy, o only energy. And I'm thinking the viewers of that channel are quite familiar with that concept, at least those who listen to you regularly, yes? Sure, but this is going to be up so on YouTube and there are going to be people that are going to uh, see this. Who may not have encountered it, yeah. And, and if I can just say in, in very briefly what 
I think biogeometry, what I've heard biogeometry is, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Lise, but it is essentially the science of shape. Shape, form, symbolism. Okay. Shape, form, and symbolism. Example, there is uh, one uh, of um, Ibrahim's tool, tools, a tool. Mm -hmm. it's, you look at it you, and you think, ah, oh, c'est so stupid, it's so ridiculous. But if you look at the shape, and I made, a, I made a, an experiment. My brother is a smoker. Mm -hmm. Then I was a little bit upset, you mm -hmm. know? So I have that tool, and I put the pack of cigarettes mm -hmm. on that shape, mm -hmm. on that little board mm -hmm. shape. I told my brother, okay, for three seconds only. Mm -hmm. I gave him the, his pack of cigarettes. Then he came back to me and said, oh, Lise, I don't know what's wrong with this name of cigarette, but it doesn't taste the same. I have to smoke two or three, and I don't get the, the nicotine, the, the, the tar, or the, the effect right. I used to have. Right. He would not smoke that pack of cigarettes anymore. He wanted to have another one. Okay. So that means that only that uh, um, tool in his, in his, in his shape yeah. was strong enough to remove all things which are not good for us okay. and don't taste the same. Well, and I can tell you, when, when we had uh, Dr. Kareem on the show, and he was with that architect, Pier Paolo. Pier Paolo mm -hmm. was with Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and, and Pier Paolo designed a house in Mississauga oui. along the principles of yes. biogeometry. Yes. And it is, the, the house is making the, the residents healthy, mm -hmm. and it even cleans the air and the environment yes. in a five kilometer radius from the house, yes. just based on the shape. Yes. The shapes used. You know, when people come to my house, they don't want to leave. Well, because Ibrahim came to my house and they measured, he and his son came to my house and measured, measured the energy and um, applied the correction. And then he said, oh, Liz, there is a vein here that goes under the house and that vein um, carries the energy and information for mental disorders. And so happens that along that hill, yeah. two persons live there mm -hmm. who are bipolar. Wow. But with that change of energy, mm -hmm. she got better, but I never said a word about oh, wow. it. No, I never said Amazing. a word about it. No, isn't that interesting? Because I'm just looking back to the ancient native traditions and teachings. People were all in harmony with nature. My grandfather, I know in Germany, he would feel the water lines and yes. he would not want to have the cows on this meadow or the horse on that meadow. And it never made sense to me why. But intuitively, he was so in tune with his animals, possibly, that, that yeah. he chose what to do when without having an intellectual Mm -hmm. explanation for it even because we are part of nature for me it's very easy to communicate with an animal sometimes a little bit easier that with that with the human mm -hmm. i i talk to the horses to the dogs to the cat to the turtles yes because we are part i talk to the cats too and the turtles and mostly and the birds yeah. <laughs> and uh, very easily and if they are not feeling well I know how to treat them. Okay, Lee, so we do have a video that I think will, uh, will uh, kind of illustrate uh, further what the biogeometry is all about. And uh, we've got this uh, video from Switzerland that Dr. Kareem's on it. Yeah. Um, do you want to just uh, talk a little bit about this video and what we're going to set it up for people so they know what we're, uh, we're, we're looking at here? Yes, it is very important that we talk about it because that's the way my, I uh, created those products using the same technique, same methodology. Okay, in the village of Amberg uh, in Switzerland, people were complaining of headache, hair uh, ringing, um, cows not producing milk, mm -hmm. um, the, the grass not being reproducing at all, not flourishing, no nothing, no, mm -hmm. and the birds fleeing the place. 
no birds were coming to Hamburg mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. And people were fighting all the time. The couples were ready to divorce and being bang. So they asked uh, Dr. Karim to go and see if he was not going to help. So finally, yes, and they did measure the electricity of uh, an antenna being established, being put in the tower or in the dome of a church not too far. So that was the cause that of all the these problems? That was the cause of all that problem. So finally, they, they ma he made a little test, and then they realized that instantly the headache that the person was complaining about mm -hmm. just did go. And it was not a placebo effect because they double-checked it. Mm -hmm. Then finally, with a creating tool to communicate with the electricity being issued, being emitted by this tower, mm -hmm. not trying to, just repelling it, meaning, okay, that's okay, you cannot, but you cannot uh, touch these people. No, mm -hmm. no. They have put something in the ground. Okay, couples were okay. The cows started to produce milk and the birds came back to the village. So this is amazing, if this really were, and it sounds almost impossible. It's been published impossible. in the newspaper yeah. and Reuters. The yeah. well, Reuters has published a study as well. Oh, and this is from Reuters, this I believe, Reuters. this video. So it's but, on bias. You know? But what this is, you know, people who are concerned about electromagnetic effects and cell phones and all this kind of stuff, this is a technology or a, a strategy to, to ameliorate to the problem. Yes, that means we are in that technological point. Yeah. Uh, we cannot do without because it's all over us. And even if you're not using it, the person beside you is using it and it's going through her. It's electricity. So the only thing is to go by biogeometry and say, okay, uh, you cannot uh, affect us. That's okay. Do your work and we do ours. That means we use uh, biogeometry to block that, yeah. not to affect us. It does its work and okay, that's okay. fine. So let's watch the video. This is going to blow people's minds. A little bit. And then we're the, the, the skeptic people <laughs> will. But that's and okay. I guess at the same time a lot of people such as myself, like my young children, they had challenges nobody could really pinpoint and I think maybe a lot of parents who have trouble with their young ones who are very in tune who are working on their non-physical uh, sense perceptions not just the five senses the physical ones alone may recognize something in there as well so. but I want to uh, point out something to you it's very important um, my boyfriend my partner is a scientist scientific straight mind, scientific mind, mm -hmm. chemist and pharmacist. For him, mm -hmm. biogeometry was for the birds. Until, mm -hmm. until, one night I said, okay, if it's for the birds, sit here and I'm going to run a test for you. Oh, oh, oh there he comes. His whole face changed. Well, that is not taught in the university. That is not taught in our cursor school or university program. How come? If it is such a science, how come? But then I said, I prove to you that this works. Okay, so let's watch this. Yes. And we're gonna see it and then we're gonna come back and talk, and talk some, some more about more. it. Okay. a town that has been suffering from the effects of an antenna that was placed about one and a half years ago in the church tower. And since that day, the residents have been complaining from 
all sorts of problems like headaches, uh, humming of the ears, dizziness, uh, lack of sleep, uh, chronic uh, fatigue, uh, irritability, uh, and the quality of life in Hamburg is so bad that people started selling their houses and leaving Hamburg. They found no solutions at all and they contacted me and decided that they wanted to try the Egyptian science of biogeometry that I had developed, which deals with using simple geometrical shape to achieve harmony in the environment. In a week's time, what the people call the miracle of Hamburg happened. All the symptoms that we stated disappeared. They didn't disappear altogether. In the first week, there was a reduction of the symptoms, and we kept fine-tuning our solutions until the symptoms disappeared completely. When the symptoms disappeared uh, and a well-being was felt in the village of Hamburg, something strange happened. The people who had been highly electrosensitized, they were very sensitive, started feeling disturbances from antennas that were further away, some were 10 kilometers away, some were 50 kilometers away from the village, and these were not mobile antennas. Uh, they were, some of them were industry, some military, all different kinds of antennas that caused a disturbance at certain times of the day. There was one that caused a disturbance between 5 in the morning and 5.30, another one between 9 and 9.15. So the residents felt these disturbances. So we developed a method of using geometrical shapes to radiate those antennas at a distance. We got the electrosensitive people and we would let them look in the direction of one of those antennas. And the moment they looked at it, they started a severe uh, throbbing in the ears and the headache at like a storm in the head. And then when we pointed our shapes and adjusted them with perfect fine tuning, we would get a complete disappearance of the symptoms instantly. If we move it one millimeter, the symptoms would come back. All this is very strange. How can a geometrical shape pointed at an antenna all of a sudden uh, achieve this effect? That's why people in the beginning spoke about the miracle of Hamburg. They couldn't understand. Or Karim from uh, Wonderland, from the land of miracles. Uh, is this a miracle from Egypt or something like that? But the most important thing here is the consistent, continuous, repeatable results that we got with every shape we installed. And a very important thing happened in Hamburg which shows uh, beyond any doubt that there's no placebo effect or any uh, auto-suggestion is that ecology turned back to normal. The migrating birds, which had changed their direction, haven't been coming for a year, were now back in Hamburg. We had bats. We had some small animals, like they're called martens. They came back. So the ecology came back. And this is one of the most important aspects that shows that the effect is real. There's no placebo uh, effect in this case. Well, so that's really, I mean, I've heard of this before, but for m most people, I I'm sure that that would be uh, very astonishing that pointing those shapes. Yeah, just with shapes, I think it's uh, possible to get rid of any, any uh, anything affecting you, mm -hmm. like uh, headaches, uh, 
cramps. Uh, yeah. It goes to show that what you can see can still hurt you. That's right. Right. You can't see it, you but you feel it. Yeah, and, and I find sometimes people feel, oh, I'm making this up, or it's not real what I'm feeling, because in the Western world we are so taught to just focus out there and have all these boxes, at least I can only speak for myself here, that I grew up in, assuming the world is a certain way, and then my relationship to the world was a certain way. And it took a while for me to open myself to that possibility that what I can see and perceive with my five senses, maybe there is something more mm. that I haven't looked at, like looking back at illnesses and impossible situations where the expert said it doesn't work, it's, it, we can't find anything. And there's many people, I think, who are suffering today where whatever medical approach they uh, try to work with, it not works for them. It, uh, I, I think that uh, right now, Everybody's changing their perception of things uh, and how they feel about life. It's going very, very, very quickly, but we do know something is shifting mm. so quickly that the day starts and there you are, the day is over. And it's the same thing for the medical field. Mm -hmm. They have not, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's same thing for the medical field. They can feed us whatever they want, but we are changing so quickly that they are using um, the medication that is way too old for mm -hmm. us. We have mutated, mutated mm -hmm. yeah. so fast they cannot catch up with us mm. at all. Yeah. Okay, Lees. I mean, I can. I was just in a hospital uh, la this week, actually, and I, n not my, I wasn't sick, but I was. Well, in, okay, I, visiting. Somebody. I was visiting a hospital, and I noticed that all the the people, the patients, but also the staff, were all like, uh, not ha happy, not healthy. Yeah. And I thought this whole system is gonna it's it can't good. survive. It just it's it frozen not. in time. Okay. Mm. But no but but on the other hand, because you're saying we are mutating quickly, well maybe maybe not. I think there's a lot of people are are we really like I mean how how do we know we're really mutating quickly? I'm not sure you're not sure. I mean, no, I, I hear I what you say, and I can believe it, but I'm, there might be people out there that say, no, we're the same. We're just, things that's are changing. That's not true. Technology is changing. That's not true. Okay. It, it, it's, that's not true. You will not be the same person tomorrow that you are today. No way. No way. Because the information and the, the education that you got today has altered the way you perceive things. There's information all the time, every day. And there is another you, uh, very well-known scientist. He's from Montreal, by the way. It's Nassim Aramain. He's young. I didn't know he was from Montreal. We. Oui. OK. And I, I had a, a very interesting meeting with him in the, when he came to Montreal in July. And we sat down like, and it is so so, so extraordinary that he can prove to you and to me that each of your cell contains all the information of the universe, including the Milky Way. And that's proven by advanced mathematics. Okay. So that means that as well, you are mutating. Mutating meaning, girl, uh, you know, evolving. It's evolving, just evolving. Word, right? it's in function of, of what the planet wants, because we are part of this planet. That's what it as is. Chief Seattle said, we don't own the Earth. We are an integrate part of it. That's right. Just That's right. maybe yeah. I forgot. Mm. I allowed myself to forget yes. who I really am in the big cosmic construct, maybe. Because Can we need to survive on every day. Right. I will use the word survive. Huh? 
uh, on everyday basis, get up, go to work, do the food shopping, the house cleaning, and na na na. Very little time remains for us to be ourselves, and it's wanted. Sorry. Oh. It's wanted. Oh, and well, I do have to say, a lot of people, and a lot of these people that I saw in the hospital, the staff, for example, or people that are running around like crazy every day, uh, tr just trying to pay their bills or That's trying it. to put on a, an act mm -hmm. to try to fit into the system to, you know, get that mm -hmm. job. I mean, to me, that's, that's not being true to yourself, mm -hmm. right? But as well, it's because we have to fit in in a, in a situation or in a position where, uh, example, electricity, we could have electricity for a cost of one cent without abusing our water and our land. There are projects that try to see the day, but they are squish yeah. Yeah? yeah there is a venus project who prove prove scientifically that just with putting some powers in the under the water mm -hmm. it's enough to sustain the whole planet mm -hmm. in electricity heat water but they don't want because um, there are people living on us, I mean. Oh yeah. Uh, of our sweat. Mm -hmm. include, right. Yeah. Yes, but those I know what's going to happen. It's going to happen this year. That the, the free energy cat is going to be out of the bag this year, and people will mm -hmm. start to be using some of these free energy uh, technologies. That's right. So Many what I hear you say, like going in my head about what we just said, what I hear you say, you brought tools to the studio today that help us enhance our energy, raise our consciousness to yes. a oneness level once again. Is, so is that, that all of us, all of us, including Loma, mm -hmm. be part of what we are living together. Because what we are living together will, it is being lived here at this level, but is being lived at other higher level as well. So that he, we all keep a very good uh, memory of that time, of that moment. We, we do that. And as well, uh, to keep this room fully, uh, char I will use the word charged. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the non-physical world informs the physical then? That's right. All the now, time. when I am ill, I have a hurt elbow or I have any other ailment, would it be right to assume that it starts out there somewhere, the, the yes. condition or the energetic imbalance? That's right. There is as well an um, energetic sign, energetic sign that uh, will speak to your wound or hurt and it will go away immediately and it's written in in command in your fingers yes you can do that and you can command any part of your body anytime anytime well that sounds like a whole show all on, on its, its own um, yeah. uh, Anytime. Do you do you help people with learn how to do that or? You know what? I do it on myself and I do it on my animals and, and, and never. Yeah, on my boyfriend too, but he doesn't know. <laughs> 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 no, but if someone asks me, I will do it because it's it's a direct command. So. Okay. So, right. question. Maybe after we still have some time, could you maybe fix us up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, like yeah. I will just show you. I, I will just show you. You can fix, fix yourself up. Okay. Maybe energize we'll ourselves. Maybe it's a bit. Okay. You don't need to be energized. You need to be able to talk to that energy who uh, come and hit you. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's. Amazing. So we could we could do that on the show. Yeah. Okay. No. No. First of all, I, you got your products here. Some yes. of your products, leaves. But and we have that other video, mm -hmm. the first video that talks about some of the principles of biogeometry. That's right. 
what do you want, what do we want to do first? Should we watch that video or should we start to talk about your products? We can please? watch the video and then talk about my products. I'm I'm really uh, really informing you and even I'm giving you you should be paying me today because I'm going to show you something I I, 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 I it did not hit me. I could give you the tool to always control your body. So could we yeah. do two things? We watch the video. Après, après, we we'll learn about your products, which are very fascinating, and you probably do an entire day on that one alone. And then you give us a little toolkit with which we could go home, it's and so the easy. viewers can hand. use at home to work with themselves. You cannot do it in public. You can do it all by yourself because when you're doing that, remember, you're just energy. So when you're hitting, example, this part, someone sitting there will be hit as well. Don't oh. forget that. So if I were working on me, it would negatively impact on everybody? Not quite negative, in the studio, man. Or? No, not negatively. If you shoot something energy, huh, uh, and it's stronger than human uh, energy, I mean, 110 is the voltage there, maybe 220. But when you command, your body with that special command, it hits you and you know it does replace that but it will hit the other person in the back. Not mm -hmm. negatively but she will feel it that you have done something. Yeah? That wow. makes sense because you just explained we are all one energy anyway. That's well, right, this body is just a tool. I am uh, skeptical. We, that's skeptical. good. Skeptical. Mm. Okay good, so we're going to well, let's watch the video now, and then we're going to come back, talk about your products, yes. and then we're going to get into this stuff that I don't even know what it is yet, Lise. I'm but not going to show the public that. I'm going to show you that. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, and then we'll tell people how to get in touch with you, and then you can show them in person right. as well. That's right. Okay, so uh, awesome. this video is, what's this doing now? It's uh, some this principles. This introduces a little bit of the principles of Dr. Karim's work, from okay. what I understand. Yes, are we yes, yeah, correct yeah, on that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. So let's talk about a very important aspect that was not known to the European researchers but which Dr. Karim has now made public. That there is a hidden key to balancing the energy in any living energy system. Could be a human being, could be an animal, could be a plant, could be the environment, it could be a building or a space. The hidden key to this are in fact three specific energy qualities which in biogeometry are referred to as the biogeometry three or simply as the BG3. These three energy qualities balance energy in all living systems. Now these three energies are manifestations vibrationally in our physical world that are direct links to forces in higher worlds. So in a sense we could say that these are three divine energies. The first is a spiritual carrier wave connecting spirit and matter. Now this was the only one of the three that was identified by the European researchers. It's the one that we've just described to you a moment ago. The Europeans did find this one, but they did not know about the other two. The second is what in the original Arabic and hieroglyphic languages we would translate into English as being the spiritual light or the atmosphere of the angels. And the third is what technically is known as the higher harmonic of gold, which is a golden radiance from the plane of divine wisdom, which enhances human consciousness and vitalizes the human immune system. Now let's just mention a little bit about the background of these three energies. Because as I said before, in the biogeometry training, the first two days are devoted to giving an overview of knowledge such as this. And understanding the way that the Egyptians understand these subtle realities. The background of these three energies, they can be found in all sacred power spots on Earth. It doesn't matter what the tradition is that is present at that location on the planet. If you go to any of their sacred power spots, you will find when you test it that these three energies are present in the sacred power spot. But the same thing is true in the human energy body. The sacred power spots in the human energy body also have these three specific energy qualities. So we find them in the chakras, the joints, acupuncture points, even in the cells of the human body, and even in genetic structures in the human body. 
you test these and you find these three energies. So these three energies are not something in the biogeometry system that we are adding to a living energy system from the outside in an artificial manner. Rather, they are already the essence that nature has provided to living energy systems so their energy is balanced and healthy. It is simply that in Dr. Kareem's work in biogeometry, for the first time we have been able to make clear exactly what these energies are and give people practical ways to be able to detect them and to be able to manifest them. Because we can manifest these three energies through either design principles or through direct spiritual connection. Okay, so there's some of the uh, information about the uh the principles of biogeometry. Yes. And Lise, I understand you, that you use some of these principles to design these products. Maybe we can show these products here and just, uh, and then we can talk about how you use biogeometry to, uh, to uh, create them. Yes. On each uh, product, uh, before I prepare it, um, I uh, put a tool yeah. A, a tool which a biogeometry tool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I work with with it, and you can tell the difference even when the technician comes in the uh, in the lab. She immediately knows the difference, and uh, in the energy she feels it, and she tells me, "Ah, oh, Liz, you're working with that. Oh, great." And you can see that she is calm and at ease. Even, you know, young, she's a young girl and you know, t things have to go. But when I am there mm -hmm. and we are making emotions, that's called emotions, that's a different um, vibration. Yes. Okay. And I use, I, uh, okay, what is used as well is that we project and in the lab, the picture of um, all of the sacred spots in Montreal, and ask those, and not ask, but we know that those spots are supporting us in the creation mm -hmm. of these product because they are for the bet embetterment mm -hmm. of the community. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. Interesting. Okay. So um, can, can, can we show that? Yes. Okay. Yeah? Okay. I okay. will show you. Okay. I wasn't going to ask you about that one, actually. Oh, I was well, there it is. But okay. Uh, this is a picture of the sacred spots in Montreal. Uh-oh. And okay, you well see here these angles is what we both wear. It's an L shape. Right much bigger and a 90 degree angle and this is the communication with Eta. all of that and our bodies and you see the lines here are drawn mm -hmm. and we need to put our products here and then we know that the product is energy enhanced you have never found it on the planet yet i am the first person who has that? Wow. Okay. Let so me get that here. I'm not yeah, following I mean entirely. It's, it's it's very out there, isn't out it? Out there. Yeah, and I thought I'm out there, but that is really beyond me. I so am out there too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that in a good way because I think yeah. humanity evolves by people really. going beyond what's commonly accepted as That's the norm, right. right? Yeah. So what I hear you say here, and please correct me if I'm wrong, the vibration of these energy spots that are in Montreal or wherever they may be, mm -hmm. they are enhancing the vibration of the product that I can touch, feel. Yes, because they have been activated. They were, uh, they were always uh, there, but not being recognized as sacred spot. Now, there are many people working with those sacred spot, mainly um, Dr. Karim, um, Pierre Paolo. Pierre Paolo Alberghini and uh, many other um, people who are quite um, in tune mm -hmm. with energy, they can spot exactly where it is. 
Uh, same thing as if you have uh, where you had uh, those stones um, in England. You uh, know? Stonehenge and we Stonehenge and uh, many other places. This uh, recupera this hits us in the same way. And now that I'm talking about it, mm -hmm. I can feel it in my body. And this, when you use it, it's a little bit out there, as you can tell, as you can see. But I know the difference because I lived it through for the last months uh, working with these uh, products. So uh, people have to take a chance that I'm speaking the truth. Okay, so let's talk about, about your products a little bit because you brought some of them here today yes. and uh, um, and uh, what are these products? Okay, as we would say they are skin product but different skin product. They cannot be called skin product mm -hmm. because they have been energy enhanced first mm -hmm. and second because of the quality of the ingredients used. Let me tell you. Yes. Okay, so it sounds like first of all you're using the very best ingredients. Yes. And, uh, and, sec and second, the um, um, bio energy that goes in it makes it different than regular skin care that I could get off the shelf or you, you know. cannot get that off the shelf. Yeah. And even if it was on the shelf, the people could not pass by and not take it because of its energy. They would be attracted to the energy. Um, yeah, I so even if, even when walking down the aisle in the store, we they're going to be attracted to it. Yeah, because they need it. Maybe if you, you need something, relate, but you know, sometimes can. when you go shopping, ah. you did, it was not on your budget. You wanted to buy something at thirty dollars, maybe just an example, <laughs> and you see the other one, it's talking to you. Oh, never <laughs> mind. I'm going to spend another nineteen dollars more. It's talking to me. That's it, you take it, because that's what the product will do. It will vibrate with who you are, with what you are emitting as vibration. So it some people, okay. So some people would be attracted, but other people might not be attracted to it, depending I on I think their everybody wants to evolve, and yeah. they are there for a reason, and highest good of everybody, mm -hmm. that's why they are there. Okay, so let's talk about, you've got a, a number of different products yeah. here. Can we talk about, uh, pick one and let's talk about okay, it? Okay, uh, uh, well, I will talk of the Ouroboros. What is the Ouroboros? What does that mean? I chose that name very carefully. Okay. The Ouroboros is the snake, the millennium snake, that in order to, to be, has to eat up his skin. Yeah and always evaluate. Oui, he never dies. He never dies. So he eats up his skin again and again. He has a new skin again and again. He has a new skin. So with this product, mm -hmm. uh, it is a AAH. It's a alpha hydroxy uh, acid. It's fruit acid, only fruit acid. So it will bring in to you a new skin, totally. After 10 days of using, your skin will have shed all the uh, dead skin mm -hmm. and the skin that is not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get a 10, 15 years younger skin, healthier skin, monsieur. Wow, <laughs> madame, merci beaucoup. Can we have a whole truckload of that stuff? No, but I gave you one. And this, uh, this, uh, this body milk, I have called it uh, to be in inebriated with life and energy. What I did, this milk has 40% um, aloe vera. Uh, aloe vera? Aloe vera, yeah. Yes. And as well, the essential oil of grapefruit and lemon, which is going to slender your body and take off the excess fat. So in the next morning when you get up, you feel that, you do feel, you feel that you have lost at least a good five pounds. It takes off all, it, it flushes out the excess fat you have. But just by putting it on your skin? We, after the shower, uh, after the bath, yes, you will. You spray it? 
spray it all over your body yes. or only where you want to lose no, no. weight? No, it's a body milk, so mm -hmm. all over. You need to uh, hydrate all your body after you've taken a shower and many uh, fatty acids have left you, so you need it. Mm. And my ma as well, I, I was thinking of um, the babies who come to this, to this world, we need help. And uh, not only help, but to be secure in their, what they have to live. Yeah. So I created a water for the baby. As you see, it's colored, but it's all natural from essential oils. And what it does, it makes the babies feel at ease with what is living, you know, coming through from uh, the mother's w womb and being in a crib, which is cold. He's yeah. been living nine months in warmth and cuddle. Oh, yeah. And as well, it, he, that will bring him to the olfactory world, higher worlds, and he will be uh, happier. So basically, because of course being born has got to be very stressful. That's from true. coming yeah, from that yeah. perfect yeah. environment to the cold, hard yes, world. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do? Spray that on the baby? On, or? The on the pyjama, on the bed sheets or mm. so. Oh, you just, okay. And I have a, ba I have a baby cream for the baby butt. Yeah. You have nothing, nothing like that on the For market. the bottom, I just met a baby yesterday, a friend of mine has a six month because old uh, child and has rashes on the little legs. Yes. Because of the ingredient, which are very, very uh, uh, expensive, but uh, not bad. They do a very, very good job. I had tested it for six months on other baby, on babies, and the mother tells, they tell me the next day, Everything is gone, you know. Uh, okay. They are feeling very well. All right. So that's uh, amazing. Yes. Okay. Is that everything, or do you have no, more? No, do you have plenty? So let's uh, let's just run through them all so we okay. can get a good idea. Uh, this is a cleansing cream. Mm -hmm. In the morning, it's out of uh, it's made out of um, castor oil, castor oil, and other uh, almond oil and so on. But its its main part is because it has. Um, Grapefruit, citrus, and and uh, yeah, grapefruit and citrus, and um, aloe vera. So that the body, through because all the meridian come here. That's one one thing you have to realize. All the meridians come here, and if you have a problem here, that means liver or so or so. But I took care of that by preparing this. Now the meridian kindly explained to us. Meridian are the energetic channels of the human body? No, the human body is um, covered with, uh, uh, information is carried through those meridians, like mm -hmm. the wires in the street, like the wires we're using now. Mm -hmm. And not the wires need to be fed information mm -hmm. to the central nervous system. Yeah, so when, that's what uh, it does. It will cleanse, it will get you rid of excess fat, and when you put the toner, I have a magnificent toner, which is birch bud. The birch bud, what it does is that it is almost the only ingredient, almost, because I know that w there will be uh, other uh, comments. It's the only thing, it's a totem of the tree. The birch bud is a totem of the tree, mm -hmm. it's a totem for you as well because that's who we are. Mm -hmm. We are part of nature. So the, the, the birch bud uh, will ha and has the capacity to go to the uh, ADN, ADN, DNA. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, refreshing your DNA. Yes, the birch. So. Yes. The bench, the bench, yeah. What do you do? Do you spray it? You, uh, or you put it, I, pu I put it in my hand and I go like that and, mm, yeah. I have clients who, who swear by it. I mean, they are feeling well and very well. They are more there and they, I would tell you maybe, I think Health Canada does not permit me to say that, but um, regenerate to look, it's anti-aging process. You feel that you're in great shape and you're not um, getting old mm -hmm. 
as quick mm -hmm. and the skin is uh, much better. For the men, I have prepared uh, two, uh, two uh, waters. One which is called reminiscence because when I prepared it, it reminded me of very old memories of who we were before being in this uh, skin. Mm -hmm. And it reminds us, reminds the men, I've been checking with men as well, you know, what does it give? And you have a feeling of memories of what you went through yeah. as a transmutating mm -hmm. and who you are now. It gives you that. Sasisa. How would that be helpful? Reminiscence. Okay, let's just see that. Okay. Yeah. Reminiscence. Uh, it's reminiscence means to rememorate yeah. what, who you have been and who you are now in the present moment. Okay. And it's all natural. Wow. Yes. So yeah. there let are me many get this products. Because <coughs> reminiscent, like there is a school of thought that whatever I was in the past is totally irrelevant to the day, to this very moment in time, all that matters is this moment. But how is it important or helpful maybe to actually remember more of yourself? Very important to the extent that gratitude, gratitude is the name of it all because many of these species gave their life for us to breathe. Like for example, you were a mammifer, that's for sure. When there was an expression, the bird's brain, you know, studying craniosacral, I realized that the brain works like that, regarde. Mm -hmm. Ces deux points là ici, yeah. on the mm -hmm. tempo, mm -hmm. and this goes to the brain, exactly. Yeah. So th it works like that, S like the bird, it's oh. flying. You want yeah. me to show you? <laughs> no, oh, je no. peux pas me lever. Bon, oh, regarde, ça fonctionne comme ça. And yeah. if I want to take your blood pressure, mm -hmm. I do it. Mm -hmm. I do it in your ear. So it is important to remember the contribution of all of the species within us. us right. Yes? Yeah. The mitochondria we would not live, we would not be able to breathe and be warm if the mit mitochondria did not exist. The mitochondria comes from a mammifer, mm -hmm. uh, from the animal uh, in the water. The mammals. No, yes. Mm -hmm. So, hey, we think we're the end of the world. No, we are part of this creation. We live with it. And many of us, many of them have given their life for us to function. And support our function, right? Is it the, the whales or the dolphins that are said to be the soul of the planet? This, I don't know. I, c I could not answer you to Yet that. Yet they are important but to our well-being, right? For, for me, for me uh, all, all small animal, big animal. I oh, I tell you an example. Last uh, summer, I was in the forest studying nature with um, with my chemist, who is also a naturalist, we were we were by the water, you know, in the marshes. The frog stops there, and is making sign like making signs to me. There is Jean Marc sitting there and is talking and thinking, what's going on? So I speak with the frog. Mm -hmm. huh? I'm not cuckoo. I have on my head. Yeah. I, well, speak with the frog. The I speak with the <laughs> frog and she starts to dance. Yeah. The frog was dancing? <laughs> then Jean-Marc said, Lise. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Lise. So that sounds interesting. So the, f the frog, so I said, okay, let us play. You want to play with me? You're lonely? I say that to the frog. And she starts to circle like that and up and down. I said, okay, viens, on va jouer. Of okay. course the frog would speak French. Of course. 
<laughs> she's international. She spoke French. So I started to take a hand, uh, a face towel. I wet it, and just by ring killing it, huh? the water dropped on on, on the his head. head, and he was happy and dancing and dancing. He followed me through. Then I say, no, I have to leave and I have to go home. I've been here for three days. The frog walked all, uh, walked all the way through the marshes and down at least four kilometers and said goodbye to me. I said, okay, I will be back next year and you come and meet me here. What? And then Jean-Marc was looking at me and now he understood that I was not, uh, uh, you know. Not they were not making this up. This no, is for real. Saw there it, is a connection. He saw it through the, the animals he loves the most. Right. So communication does exist between all sense mm -hmm. of the universe, flower, flower, trees, all. Yeah. Okay, so now we've lo we've talked about um, uh, some or maybe most of your products, but I'm imagining that people could go on your website and That's find right. out more information That's about. That's right. It's very, it's quite described um, what it will, what ingredient, uh, what it does, and so. Yes, the name of the website mm -hmm. is uh, www.saracali.ca. S A R A K A L I. Yes. Dot C A. Dot C A. Sarah Cali. Dot C A. Yes. Yeah. And where does the name come from? Mm, one of my dreams again. I knew I, I wanted to create a product to help uh, us out, not only the others, but I too, because I am breeding as well and expiring as well. Not mm. to. Uh, uh, so. But Sarah Kali came to me like that by itself, and I could not get rid of it. Mm -hmm. It inhabited me, and since then it is Sarah Kali. I tried to find a better catchy word for the market. It never worked. Okay. I had to stick to Sarah Kali. No, no Kali. Don't you remember Kali is a goddess of justice? This justice? and that side. And as well, she is the guide and protector of all practitioners oh okay I, I did not know that no, I, uh, no. I've learned it along the way whoa one thing one very important thing I need to mention about my products they will not plug or um, destroy the plumbing of your house oh Okay. Important. People don't know. They get stuck inside. It doesn't go down. Why? Because the product is not well created, not with, be with the best ingredient. Mine will be going down without leaving any trace. Okay. Now, can people find these in stores? They will. F no, not right now, but on the internet, yes. Okay, so they can order them from they you? Can, they can order directly from the internet, yes. Okay, from saracali.ca? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. Okay, fabulous. And I guess if, if any, are you open to retailers who want to carry the products? Yes. Uh, getting in touch yes. with you? Yes, yeah, yeah. There okay. is a phone number, 514-774-1111. Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to put all that information in the credits anyway. That's but I, right. but um, now I understand because you're a naturopathic yes. practitioner yes. In, in Montreal or mm. in, in Saint Adele. Adele. As well, I can create a product strictly and personalized for that person's short, I would say, shortcomings. I see. I will create it for her need. Okay, so I as a practitioner, look as at practitioner. their specific uh, situation. I will. And, uh, and, and, and come up with something for them. Um, and you're, okay, so also um, I just want to make sure we uh, cover any other aspect of your work because yes. you're a, crani a cranial sacral practitioner, yes. a naturopathic yeah. uh, practitioner. Yes. Is there anything else we should know about you, Lise, before we uh, sign off here? Um, uh, well, no, first of all, I think that it's a community project, mm -hmm. and I want to thank everybody who believed in my dream. 
and participated with me in creating those projects, either by uh, money, moral support, scientific support. Um, I met the directors and distributors of um, first ingredient for matters, and usually they don't deal mm -hmm. with small people mm -hmm. like me. Mm -hmm. But she, the person said, okay, Liz, we will sell you. And they lose money when they sell me to me because it's costing so much money for repackaging mm -hmm. that it's costing them maybe $200 to make a small um, right. packaging of one liter because yeah. they sell by the barrel, mm -hmm. the big one. Yeah? Right. So f that's a, a very important part of our creation is I have to be th thankful for people being there for me. Okay. Sounds like it wanted to happen, like everything in life. You know, you sometimes wonder how the coincidences That's come, right. no and how we meet. It, everything is divinely guided in the big cosmic picture of things. No but, coincidence you know, in life. Very okay. fascinating indeed. Yeah. No thank you so much for being with us today. I That's thank wonderful. you for your time and patience with me and trying to learn a little bit my French. But I, I made a big effort in trying to speak correctly. Oh, well, you Okay, Lise. Well, great to have you on. And, um, you know, I guess people, uh, if they're thinking about traveling to Montreal, they can uh, think about getting in touch with you and, yes, and going yeah. to see you in person. Yes, I do have an office in Montreal, and I do have a practice in St. Adele. Bo both, I can w work, I work three days a day, uh, three weeks, three days a week in Montreal and uh, three days in St. Adele because of the clientele that comes from um, United States, yeah. they come to Mont Tremblant, yeah. and it's not far from my house. Right. They go win at the casino, then they come see me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which they probably need to do after going to the casino. <laughs> that's right, but that's plenty of that. <laughs> plenty of it. Okay, Lise, great to have you here. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And again, people can check out uh, all the products and all the other information at saracali.ca. And I guess that's it for the show today, Hildegard. It's amazing. I just see the potential for somebody who was challenged in any which way to have touch, come get in touch with Lise. And maybe there's a formulation that is unique for you and will make a difference for you along the path. So I'd certainly like to learn more about that. Yeah. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. For okay. Being here. All right. So that's it. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time right here on LiquidLaunch.com.